Glory be to God forever and ever. All right, so um, I have to say once again, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yay, the year 2019. This year, a lot of things will happen. And I want to uh, talk to you because each year, every year that comes, comes with good and also comes with bad. But I speak to your life that the bad, the bad thing that follow this year will not see you. Will not see you. If you are true, if you are true, a child of God, I am telling you truth. The bad that follow the year will not see you. You will see the good of the year. The good of the year is all that you will see, especially you that love truth, you that love righteousness, that love our God. If you don't love him, but as you hear this message, um, I, I'm going to unveil everything I've heard from God that will be happening this year. I will unveil everything from now till Sunday. I will tell you, I will be telling you, not uh, people that predict, not not to people that come, come to predict, or people that is uh, or like a weather forecast, forecast that uh, they are gambling. I will tell you exactly the way I hear from God. Everything that he said that will happen this year, I will give it to you. And I would like you to write it down and watch and watch it and see whether it is true or false. But before I move on, as I said to you, Happy New Year, I welcome you on board. We are already you know, on board for the year we are inside. We are all inside 2019. And I, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that everything good will happen to you this year. As a child of God, and if you hear this, uh, what God wants to do, and you escape and the wrong, and the wrong for your life, and you change from your bad ways, and also a good thing will happen to you. But if you still goes on in your trespasses, you are on your own. All right. So, but I want to talk something now. First, uh, first thing I want to talk about is um, the name, the name that they call our Savior. Jesus, the name I want to talk to you in the book of Matthew, chapter one, verse twenty, verse twenty-one. I want to talk to you about something. And she will bring forth Matthew chapter one, verse twenty-one. And she, Mary, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, and you shall call his name Jesus. For he will save his people from their sin, from their sins. I read again, Matthew chapter one verse twenty one. And she will bring forth, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. Anybody who is thinking that his name is not Jesus, the person is trying to contract contradict the word of God, the Bible, the word of God. The name of the name Jesus, the meaning of Jesus means a savior. Like the same way Joshua means a savior. According to the Hebrew, there are many names given to our God. There are, but the name is just a title. God, the name God is just a title. There are Many names, many names that they call our God. Some call it Yeshua. Yeshua in Hebrew, they call me Yeshua. So they call so many names, but it's like in, in English, English fashion, they call him Jesus. Jesus still means Savior. Joshua means a Savior. What did he, you know, what he came to do to save me and you from our sins? which means it's not a bad name. If the English people call him Jesus, Jesus means a savior, and he came to save the whole world from their sins. What is the argument about this, Don't, that, that his name is not Jesus? Je Christ means the anointed one, the one that the, the, the anointing is upon, the anointed one, means Jesus. Means Jesus Christ, Savior. Savior is Jesus. The meaning of Jesus is a Savior, and the Christ, 
the anointed one. So it means Jesus, the anointed one. Jesus Christ means the Savior, the anointed Savior. The anointed Savior is the name Jesus Christ. The anointed Savior. What is the argument of that don't call him Jesus? His name is Jesus because he came to save me and you from all our sins, from all our problems, from all our pains. What is the argument now? The name of the name Jesus works for me. He works wonders for me. He keeps working wonders. And forever he keeps working wonders. I if it doesn't work for you, it works for me. It works for me. That name Jesus works for me. I know also that he is a Yeshua according to the Hebrew. Because also, also if you want to go back, you are going back to Judaism. And you can't do what is in Judaism. You can't do what is Judaism. You can't practice Judaism. Judaism is all about laws upon laws that Jesus came to save me and you. And they did not, the Jewish people up to now, many of them have not, did not even believe that a savior have come. They are still waiting for a savior. But a savior has come. If you go to the scripture, you understand that even Jesus said to understand that they have not even known that they said that he is the savior. Many of them have not even known that he has come. But some of them is now coming to the knowledge that Jesus is the one, that they, that they were the savior, that he has already come to the world. And he wants to bring them, he said that the, that the, that the, the blindness, blindness have befallen the Israelites. The blindness. So, and some of you that's claiming now that you know you are going back to Judaism. You are still going back. The same blindness that's upon them is what you are calling upon the company. You are, you are, you are walking into. When Christ has come to set us free from the bondage of law. Judaism is all about laws, doors and don'ts. And Christ has he came to set us free from the bondage of laws. What are we trying to say? What are we talking about? You are bringing people, telling them that the name is not Jesus, that they know. What are you trying to say? What is the point that you are trying to make? That name works for me. He is my savior. He saves me in the morning. He saves me in the afternoon. He saves me tonight. Any time I call upon him, he saves me. He saves me. So if that name is not working for you, you can go ahead and change it. But for me, I can never change it. Jesus Christ is his name. Jesus Christ. You will hear what I just read now for you. And he and she and she will bring forth a son. In the book of Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she will bring forth a son. And you shall call his name Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. There are many people who claim to call themselves Jesus. Or to name themselves Jesus. But they are not the anointed one. There are many Jesus out there. There are many people who claim to be a savior. But if it's not Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the anointed one, if they are, they are fake. We understand the book of Acts and about a, 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 a false prophet called by Jesus, fake Jesus. So if that name, the demons recognize that name and they know that that name is powerful. All the occultic powers, they have tried, tried and tested that word, that, that name called Jesus, and they confirm that he's so powerful. It's like me. I, I was, my name is Sunday. My name is, 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 is Chuku. My name is uh, Ikenna. My, my parents gave me Sunday is Chuku. But a widow that I had when I was a, a small boy, that uh, the, widow, the, the widow doesn't have a child, no, 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 no child, no husband. I became the, you know, a, a helper to this widow. She, 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 she took me as a son. And later, she gave me a name. He cannot. This is the name the woman gave to me. So if you call me, he cannot. It's still my name. If you call me Sunday, it's still my name. If you call me it's true, it's still my name. So this is how it is. This is how it is. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. There is no argument about that. If you are drawing a seven to unnecessary, unnecessary argument that we that we that we that we draw you and bring you to more that will cost you unnecessary uh, 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 death. You're going to receive some the dirty word that you're not supposed to receive. I know that you have many names. But I want to tell you Jesus is the word of God. And the Bible said that he magnify his word above all his name. The name of Jesus is highly exalted. I can also read for you to understand in the book of Philippians. So let's understand what I'm trying to say. I don't know why we are we are going to into, going backward. This one, this one, going, going forward. It's not necessary for me. It's not necessary. Christmas, it's not necessary to celebrate. It's not good. So what what, what are you trying to bring to me? And you tell me that his name is not Jesus. What are you trying to bring to me? So this 
Then is something that you don't supposed to talk about. I want to share something in the book of Philippians. Let me share something quickly in the book of Philippians so that it will help it will help us to stop some argument and move forward instead of going backward. Listen to what I want to read for you. Every devil and demons, all the occultic kingdoms in the whole world, they know that that name Jesus Christ is the most powerful name. It works for me. It works for my family. It works for my father and mother that gave it to me, that introduced him to me. It works for me. Philippians chapter 2, I read from verse 9. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and giving him the name which is above every name. Excuse me. That at, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. Of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. To the glory of God the Father. What are we trying to say? Anytime I call that name, every devil and demon, they scream. Every devil and demon jump to, 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 to the pit of hell where they belong. Victory is mine. So what are we trying to say? What are we talking about? I want to clear this, in, this thing off your, your mind, off your head this new year. His name is Jesus Christ. He is the Savior, the anointed Savior. He is the one, the, the, the one that, that came to save me and you. And that name is more powerful in the realm of the Spirit. So powerful. No devil, no demon hold you bound when you shout, when you when you scream that name. Every chance of, of, of every chance of hell, no, you know, no, no lose. See apart immediately. All right. So at this point, I want just I just want to say I don't want to take your time so much. God bless you, very good. So let's move on. This you know, wait for my prophecy of the what will happen for the whole year, and especially I will tell you what will happen in Nigeria this year. So just uh, keep checking on me. The video will soon be out. God bless you, all you my lovers. You, my lovers, I love you all so much. God bless you. Remember, the best belongs to you, the lover of truth.